Alright, man, I ain't gonna lie, it feels good to be back. Yo. Feels good to be home. I was gone for a minute, but I'm back now. Oh, wait, what's up, Cray? Uh, Ryan, you want my top down? He said, hey, back on the ground again. I've been a little bit this time again. Fortune, remember you around again? I'm like, hey. oh, every time I'm asking a lot of things, I say the same thing. The H from the D from the H 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 they ride around and play a lot like it ain't nothing wrong. Nah, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, but you actually remember most of it. Dude, I listened to that song when it first came out a million times. I promise you. I was thinking more like, I was going for a minute, but I'm back I'm already sweating. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. Podcast people, if y'all hear this fan, oh wait, time up. I'm not gonna lie, I gotta turn it on, bro. Now you gotta ruin this, you know? You could've gone straight to that Spitfire, straight Ah. to that podcast, you gotta ruin it. No, no. This is literally behind the scenes. Shit, I just realized I gotta okay. You know what? You were like all up in the middle of the screen, bro. This is gonna take it out. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm just hot, man. I, I guess know. from putting up all those things right yeah, now. Yeah, but you should have put it this way because now you're gonna hit the actual mic. Okay, that way. Yeah, that way. Yeah, it might sound like kind of bad. My bad, y'all. This is mad hot. Anyways, point is, man, it's good to be back, man. Good to vacation be back. is over. Mm-hmm. At least for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see when we take another Christmas it's vacation. Been, uh, yeah, it's been a little minute. Miss you guys, though. How you guys doing? Yeah, how's, yeah, man. how's Thanksgiving treating you? How many weight? How many pounds you gained? A lot. Yeah. I, I think, actually, no, I don't think I'm gaining much. I think I'm actually still losing. Are you? Because. I'm losing or I'm losing my belly. One or the other. I don't know if I'm losing pounds, but I'm definitely losing my belly. Alright, well, then you're losing weight. You know? It has to be. It has to be. I don't know if I'm losing weight, though, because I feel like. I'm, I'm losing a lot. Though I'm light. You know, I woke up yesterday? 153. For real? One, three, three. That's so, so little. Yeah. That means that for me to be like rip, rip, I gotta be like at 140 with the most of muscle I have right now. Damn, like that's... Like in the 40s. That's, that's 15 pounds almost dropped. Well, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean 140 like solid. I mean, I mean like, like 140-ish. Like, yeah, probably. That's still a lot, bro. Eight pounds? That's a yeah. lot, but whatever, man. If It will take it, you know, a day yeah, at a time. Day at a time. Of you know, I'll, I'll make little adjustments here and there. All right, guys. So, you yeah, know, it's been a little minute. A lot's happened. What uh one reason that I actually do want to talk about today though for sure. What did we do last weekend? Last Sunday. Yeah, dig deep into the mind. Think about it. What, yeah, what was last Sunday? Show. Dig deep, dig deep. We wanna go watch something. A movie? Mm-hmm. What movie did I watch last week? Come on, you bastard. Oh, Wreck It Ralph. There we go. We watched Wreck It Ralph. There we go. Um, <laughs> disclaimer, we went with my family and my niece, all right? Because mm-hmm. it would be kind of weird if we just like chose to just go to Wreck It Ralph. Right, right, right. It. But, but, all right. What do you think about the movie? Let's just go with that. I, honestly, I thought the movie was great. And if you like the first one, which I did not, you're going to absolutely love the second one because it's so much better. It's definitely relevant. Definitely funny, clever, right? Mm-hmm. And, and I think it actually um, it hits perfectly on on the critique of our time and social media, especially. Mm-hmm. I think it, it did an excellent job to to you know to be able to re- like relate to kids who will enjoy the movie, but also to adults who can take something out of the movie. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, because you know, from from watching the movie, initially I didn't want to go watch the movie. I was like, we're gonna go watch Wreck It Ralph. Like, though the movie, like you said, it speaks. So much to our generation, to what I mean. What what, uh, what would you say you got out of the movie? Let's see. Uh, I said uh, okay. Um, I think I think I was, I'll say the the part that that I was like I was not expecting it really hit me, was the idea of of real friendship, like growth in friendship. Yeah, yeah. You know because uh, I think it's yes that's her name right that yeah. says oh friends, you know relationships, they can still be friends and you can still grow. Yeah. You get me? A lot of times we assume that, oh, you know, childhood friends. Yeah. With childhood friends, we always have to be, like, we have to be thing. in our yeah. childhood. Yeah. But in reality, like, real friends evolve. Yeah. And they yeah. accept that they are evolving. And yeah. they allow each other to evolve. Exactly. And, and I love that part, you know, uh, not to make it super deep about Rekha Ralph. But it is a nice, intricate moment where, where you know, he has to self be self-aware and mm-hmm. self-examine himself and realize, you know what? It's my insecurities that's damaging what we got going on. Yeah. It's not the friendship, it's not that person, it's me. Yeah. And, and I think something we always preach about is self-awareness. Mm-hmm. And I love that moment when he has that consciousness to say, you know, he, he looks at all that little me, him, I, yeah. I don't want to mess up the movie, but he looks at all those hymns, yeah. and he's like, that's how I look. Yeah. You know, like that full clarity of, of mm-hmm. that. I, I absolutely enjoyed that yeah. movie. Yeah, man, and, and to stay on that dude, 
uh, I think it is a representation of, of today what we go through you know man I've been, I've been I've been for the past couple weeks just thinking a lot about you know what what it is you know the path that that we have to choose the you know the, the step we have to take to, to live this life I feel like you know we we are so career oriented we are so like you know what are what it's almost like everybody's entering this mentality or is in this mentality of you know what are what's everybody gonna say when I go to my ten year high school reunion? What are they gonna think about me? You know what I mean? Uh, what kind of car am I gonna pull up in? What kind of job or cool thing mm -hmm. am I gonna say? I feel like that's where everybody's at forever. You know, I feel like we forget that that life is much more than you know going and doing a job and paying your bills. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so much more than that. And, and there's also so much more than appearing successful. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I think a lot of times, especially with us, is if it's not Instagram worthy, it's not life worthy. Yeah. And I would, I would, you know, venture to criticize that way of thinking. You, we're not a lot of us. We don't verbalize it, but the way we live our lives proves it. You know, oh, if my my the breakfast I go eat, if I can't take a picture of it, eh, yeah. if the place I go to, if I, the outfit I got on, you know, if I can't post it, it's like eh, I don't want to do it. And and I feel like that is limiting us from really living. Yeah. Because we, you know, not only are we living in this, uh, you know, goal oriented, but we're also living in this social media oriented like life, right? It's yeah. one or the other. Either I want to be successful by these standards, or I want to appear successful by these standards. Yeah. And those two the choices are killing us. Exactly. And and I think that in that a lot of people are doing too much of the comparing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like. J. Cole said, you know, there is no life better than yours, right? Mm -hmm. That that in the song called Love Yours. Yo, that song touches me every time because it's so real. Oh. Wait, like fake fake like we paused? I mean like Actually your brother. Yeah. It's mostly like your brother. Anyway, so oh, you know back. <laughs> <laughs> the one we paused? Oh we're right. So you know it you know to to kinda wrap this up guys, um, in a quickly manner. Cause I know we don't want to be too extensive. Also, yeah, we're trying to plan to to reduce our yeah. conversations. Yeah, you know I want. Yeah, we're gonna touch back based on this, you know, deeper. But I want everybody to kind of start to think about something. You know, we're all in the same playing field right now, right? As far as our ages, I know that you know the the biggest majority group that watches us between eighteen and like thirty four. Or so this is you know somewhere around the same ballpark. You know, um, yo, your life. The way you live, the choices you make, the goals you have are yours, you know. They should always be for your own happiness. They should always be for your own growth. They shouldn't be so that Sally062 uh, can like your picture and say, Wow, I wish I could be like you. It's not hey, Sally, if you do exist, we didn't mean you specifically. It was an example. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's not so that we can have, you know, these big yeah, comments sure. on IG and all this stuff, you know. It's, it's, it's much more than that, you know, yeah. so... Uh, so for first frame today, let's stop the comparing. That's exactly what's killing us. Reach. You're looking at yeah. young rappers, you're looking at young models, you're looking at all these people that got Instagram famous and YouTube famous, whatever. They're like, yo, they're living this lifestyle. What am I doing? And I understand where that comes from. You know, we are going through those special. Yeah, we all feel it. We but I think that, it. yeah, we need to be more appreciative of where we are, mm -hmm. what we have, you know, and then just focus on us and what we really want, not what we think is going to make us look cool or none of that. You know what I mean? So... I think that this movie was a great representation of exactly where we're at today. You know yeah. I mean? Where we're all trying to do stuff for the likes, for the comments, mm -hmm. uh, for the popularity. Yeah. And manipulating the system into helping us be more successful. Exactly, right? By knowing the algorithm yeah. and all of this stuff. You know, you can use those things to your benefit. Not, you know, it's, it's here, here or there. But it's more important that, you know, we focus on what's really important at hand. You know, mm -hmm. what really matters at hand. So, um, you got anything else to say? Yeah, but I think nailed it. it. Yeah, it. guys, it's great to be back. Honestly, I want to take a moment. Yo, George be sending me some of these numbers. I know to a lot of you that might not mean nothing, but to me, when I look at these numbers, like you know, listeners and whatnot, yeah, yeah, yeah. because I, I, George has preached something that has stuck in my head, so now I assume it, right? And I don't mean that as a disrespect to anybody. I assume it is that oh, one person listened. That's yeah. my assumption. One person listened. Yeah. So when I see fifty-five or thirty something or whatever, to somebody else who it doesn't matter. To me, it blows my mind, and we are forever grateful for your time, forever grateful for your input. You know, I am not as active in social media as George's. I don't even use my social media specifically, yeah, so definitely I try to, you know, just yeah. kind of, um, 
But, you know, I do get to see the notifications, the comments, the, some of the messages and stuff that, you know, George is more on top of. Yeah. And I am just blown away by your support, by your time. We are yeah. forever grateful. Uh, you are, I'm down. You know, it's not just us. It's yes. you are, I'm down. You know, so let's all live our lives and let's just live it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Thank you guys for your time and thank you for your support, man. Till next time.